EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, it's on to Week 10 already, and we've got a good one in store between the Buffalo Bills and the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the punter, Bradley Pinion, on to get us started, and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Fields it right around the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shaken up. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Jones looking to throw right away. That swung out wide to Harris. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. And you know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by the corner, Bradley Roby. And the Cowboys are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. So the pass interference call on the offense obviously declined, and this will remain a turnover. this time for Justin Herbert got a man here it's Brian and he'll be taken down but not before they reach the 50 36 yards on the play but they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover they go for the big shot downfield and hit it a lot of teams have that opportunity but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call I love their aggressiveness from the 50 here's Herbert and he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second and 11 now. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Jones. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Bills are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. Well, it doesn't take a whole lot of investigation to figure out why they're still sitting at zero on the scoreboard, because their quarterback's got to wake up and start reading defense a heck of a lot better after throwing his second interception. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
Just the one misstep for them in the first half of the season. 7-1 is the record at the midway point. And in terms of whatever power rankings you want to go by, they're at or near the top of the list in terms of best teams in the National Football League. And for me and my little bit of rankings here, I've got them at the top. I know there's still two months to go, and we've seen teams get off to hot starts and then fade away due to injuries or the schedule or whatever. But unless there are a rash of injuries on this team, I'd be surprised if they aren't a first or a second seed come playoff time. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 11 yards for number 11. Herbert on first down now. There's Moody with another catch. Pass the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Jarnell Moody, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bills take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. And they just ran the fly route there, didn't they? You broke it down perfectly. He ends up catching that one and taking it all the way into the end zone. Well, thanks. It was pretty simple to break down, though. I mean, that's just a guy going, running on the go route, making a play. Speed, kills. speed, <laughs> speed. And what does it do? It kills. There you go. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Fair catch. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They come off a victory over the weekend, but now the quick turnaround here for this Thursday night game. How does that affect how teams like this approach these short turnarounds? Well, wins and losses always factor into, you know, how you're getting ready for the next game. But equally as important when you have the short turnaround, what is your injury situation? Are you losing key guys? And if so, how well have the backups prepared for this? Because you don't have much time to get them ready. They have to be ready before this week in order to play well in this game. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense have other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. In motion left comes Williams. To throw once more on second and ten. Jones flush to his right. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. He'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Now Jones. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. Could have been his second, but instead, it's fourth down. My man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. complete to his tight end Everett and he is going to have the Cowboys first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive a run with Harris out of the shotgun and he stopped immediately there
Throwing on second down. Jones eluding the pressure right. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. And the first play will be a field goal try. From the right hash, this from 33. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, you're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one. But now playing here on Thursday night, do you think that this helps or hurts their momentum? Well, ordinarily, I'd say it hurts the momentum because now you get that short week. But when a team's playing as well as they are, it actually allows them to down focus and only worry about themselves and less about their opponent. So when you're playing well, you just worry about the things you're doing well and let the opponent deal with that. Herbert, quick pass out wide. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. On second and very short, Herbert. And a throw right sideline is complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. From 10 yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that pushes the lead up to 11. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. Oh, and Jones has just thrown his third interception. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Three first-half interceptions now. And, Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still, three interceptions. That puts the entire team in jeopardy. So, the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 
He is putting on a show in this second quarter, racking up the receiving yards as he has a first down. A first down carry for Barkley. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. The quick slant caught. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Here's Herbert. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Touchdown, Bills! Saquon Barkley from a yard out as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Meanwhile, Jones throw going into the hands of Williams. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. On the give, this is Harris. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. From the 44, Jones. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Jeremy Chase picks it off. And the Bills are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, C.D., you know, when you mentioned earlier about spreading the ball around in this game, I don't think you mentioned the guys in the other uniform with four interceptions here in the first half and several different guys have picked him off. Yeah, and instead of analyzing what's going wrong with him, throwing the football, while we look at the defense, they came in prepared, had excellent game plan, well scouted, and they're taking it away at almost every turn. After the turnover, here's Herbert. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, it hasn't been a banner first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Herbert off of play action. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Let's go. And the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. Herbert now. And this will be caught by Mooney. He's got room at the 30, and he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch, and to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now 
after the sack on first down. Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Herbert. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Hunter Henry from six yards away. And the Bills are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Oh, I was just about to say he hadn't missed an extra point all season, but there it is, his first miss, no good. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Throw left side complete. That's Harris. And a good stiff arm there before he's brought down on a nice little game. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And now here is another interception. And the Bills are going to take possession of the football. Well, there's two sides to this coin. I mean, on one side, five interceptions now thrown for them. That's tough. But, man, this defense, they have been ball hawking and impressive. But, Charles, let's flip it back over. If you're coaching a quarterback that's struggling this much at this stage of the game, do you maybe try to get him out? I would think about it, and I think about it awfully hard. But also, you might want to look into his eyes, see what he has. He might be one of those players that you don't want to affect his confidence by actually pulling him out of the game. So you have to know your player. You have to know the situation. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Escaping the pressure right. And he's going to go down. So they pass up the field goal attempt to go for six, but as a result, they leave points on the field, and that's going to do it for this first half. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. fake and now Herbert to throw. Throw it across his body and it's intercepted. 
Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Cowboys are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting. You and I were talking with the coach, and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. They'll try the right side with Harris. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Operating from the gun, Jones. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That's good Now a play fake here on first down. He'll find Williams on the slant. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They hand this off to Harris. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Najee Harris, his fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Cowboys are able to cut into that deficit. They'll look to throw. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shake it up. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. This offense returning out there, and really, you remember the last drive, Charles, it was over before it even began. They threw the... There he goes, left side! He's at the 50! He's at the 30! 10! 5! And all the way home for a Bills touchdown! And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big-time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. Set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. He's got a man complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Jose Borregales for the extra point. And that'll cut the lead down now to 18. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. 
Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Out of the gun, Herbert. Open man down the field is Henry. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. I'm seeing a lot of guys shaking their heads on defense right now, particularly in the secondary. And when you see that going on, that is never a good sign. But it's understandable. They've been shredded so far. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Looking left side, and it's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Herbert operating from the red zone. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. So a roughing the passer penalty and an automatic first down. And that's the mark of a bad team, partner, because that's an easily preventable penalty, but they just didn't take the proper steps to make it so. So a critical mistake, roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. Now receiver in motion left. On second and goal, Herbert. And he's got it. Touchdown, Bills. Saquon Barkley. His third touchdown of the game, 10th on the year, as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point put through by Suckham, and they open the lead up now to 25. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. Well, this has been a tough one for him, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> All coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Jones from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. We just saw another example of really good defensive football, which has led to the cushion that they have in this game. Got to him once again, knocked him on the ground, forced an incompletion. And yeah, they've set the tone. It's one thing to set the tone, another to come in here on the road and set the tone. Yeah, not a great one there. Out of bounds in the air. And the offense is going to be set up already in enemy territory inside the 45. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They'll fake the handoff, now Herbert. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Cowboys will take over here just shy of the 30. And that gives him now three interceptions in the game. Well, someone's locked into what they're trying to get done in the passing game. When was the last time we had someone get three in a, in a contest? 2011, wasn't it? Kurt Coleman. Oh, yeah, that's then right. Then with the Eagles. That's right. He's then against the, with the Eagles, and I believe it's against Washington and Rex Grossman. That's correct. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Check, 
first down and they go back to Harris and not much there at all maybe a yard up to the 43 the run only got a yard here's second and nine now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw steps away to his left now he'll turn and throw deep back to the other side of the field uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big talk both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 35-yard line. Throwing Jones. And this one is incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. The Cowboys on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. They're looking at third and a few inches. He's got this complete to Williams. And he will have a Cowboys first down, maybe by about a yard as they find a way to convert on third and inches. They go play action here on first down. Out left, he's got it to Everett. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Jones. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. Now second and nine from the 10. Play action. Jones rolling to his right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. Oh, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down in distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. They're two for two on third down conversions on this drive. This one tough. They need nine yards on third down. On the ground, it's Harris. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Mike McCarthy took the gamble, didn't pay off. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth, and we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. On second and 12, Herbert. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Seven catches for him now in this last one, the first down. Back to throw here, Herbert. And able to complete this one to McLeod. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. They're going to pass here with Herbert. And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. 
N'Kobe Dean, his second sack of the night. Exactly what they were looking for. They've been giving up yardage. They've been letting them drive right downfield, but they got a sack right there. How about that for a little bit of revenge? Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. Throwing left side, it's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 39 yards there, a big one. As a general manager, you're counting on your first and second round draft picks to have a big time impact on your team. But where you make your bones, Browns three through seven. If you can find a few diamonds in the rough there, develop them, then you've got something going. And we're seeing one right here. Yeah, plays like that lead me to believe that they found a diamond in the rough. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now it's Herbert. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns. And it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because... That and they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Suck up for the extra point. Now, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side of this one. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. And they get him down right near the midfield stripe. Tackle right at midfield. It's the game of eight. Makes it third. 